Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a Google Forms autofiller tutorial. Let's begin. So once you have a Google Form open, you're going to go to the top right corner, then select the three vertical dots. Afterwards, you're going to select pre-fill form. So after we're done here, it's going to tell us that after we pre-fill the responses, then we have to click get link. So we're going to try to like fill it in ourselves, and then we're going to continue it from there. Afterwards, you're going to go to the bottom and select get link. Then it says here, share this link to include pre-filled responses. So I'm going to copy the link. So now we are going to open up our spreadsheet and this is the information that we have that we need to include into our Google form. So under Google form link, we're going to paste in the link that we got from our Google form. So you're going to right click and select paste. And then we're going to make some adjustments to this form. So at the beginning where it says HTTPS, we are going to put an equals to sign, and then we are going to open up the double quotes and then put the double quotes at the end as well. Okay, so we need to make a few adjustments here. So please pay careful attention to these columns here and these rows. So if we go to this link here, it's going to show you the answers for each of our questions or our queries within the Google form. So if I go to name, the default is going to be Jacob, right? So if I go back to the spreadsheet, this is going to be the default answer. It's going to be Jacob. So I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be email. If I go back to the spreadsheet, it's going to give the email address of the one that I entered into my Google form. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that these correlate with the cells here. We're going to replace these names with the cells corresponding to the given information. So for Jacob entry, that's going to be under name. So you're going to highlight the name and then you're going to replace it with the cell number and letter. So it's going to be A1. Now before A1, you're going to have to put open quotes and then you're going to put the and symbol. And then afterwards, right at the end of A1, put the at symbol again, and then put in the double quotation marks again. Then do the same thing with the email. So we go to the email, go to highlight it, and we're going to replace it with age. So I'm going to, I'm going to type in B1. Now before B1, and then put the at symbol, and at the end of B1, put the add symbol again, and then put in the double quotes. And then we're going to move on to the location. So here it is Germany. I'm going to highlight Germany, and that is part of the location. And then I'm going to replace it with C1. So I'm going to type in C1. And then before C1, I'm going to put in the quotes. And then I'm going to put the add symbol. Then at the end of C1, I'm going to put the add symbol once more. And then close it off with the double quotes. Then lastly, we move on to the product type. So I put in Samsung because the Google form said Samsung. So I'm going to highlight that. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to replace it with the D1. So I'm going to type in D1 before D1. Open the double quotes. And then I'm going to put in the add symbol. And at the end of D1, add the add symbol again. And then close it with another quote. So now we need to make sure that this is in a hyperlink. So go to the beginning. So we're going to go to the top here where the equal to sign is, and we're going to type in hyperlink. Then choose it there. And as you can see here, it is clickable. So if you open up the Google form once more, it's going to take in the values from this spreadsheet. If this video helped you out, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and it helps the channel to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.